Good evening and welcome to John Hollingsworth Field at Reading Memorial High School. Uh, this is Mark Shire without Tim Lido tonight. Tim is, what do you say, on assignment? I would say that. Tim is on assignment. He actually has to work for a living. And with me tonight here is legendary AB quarterback, uh, Hank Morris of those uh, great Super Bowl teams uh, in the early 2000s. And Hank is going to do uh, commentary tonight. I'm gonna do play by play as uh, both teams are coming into this game. 0-1, AB lost to Chelmsford last week and uh, Redding lost to Central Catholic 28 to six. Central Catholic, a really, really good team and uh, I think Redding is really going to be out for beer tonight. But before we get into any discussion of the game, we want to turn it over to our pregame sponsors, Acton Pharmacy and Shire, Caton and Epstein. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Welcome back to Action TV Sports coverage of Colonial Football. Now it's time for the Action TV Free Game Show. Brought to you by Acton Pharmacy and Shire Kate and Epstein, DC. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've, got, we've got quite a game. This is uh, a really a non-traditional game for Acton Boxborough. I can't believe I, I don't remember the last time they played Reading. It might have been in the early 2000s. They were playing North Andover, but they had a schedule problem with North Andover, and now they're playing Reading. Uh, Reading's a really good team. The last game they played last year, Hank, was at Gillette Stadium. They played in the Division II Super Bowl. They lost to Neshober. They were 11-2 uh, and two last year, and really a terrific team, a real powerhouse team. And they've got a third-year quarterback right now in... Uh, uh, De Laurento, uh, who is uh, really leading this team, he's a great runner, a great passer. Uh, but Reading, just like AB, has really been hit by the injury bug. They've got two of their captains are out. Uh, Jack Geiger, their best runner receiver, number 21, is out. So look for number five, Nick DiNapoli, and for tight end number 15, Jack Gore, uh, to take on a lot of those duties. And uh, as we say, De Laurento is in his uh, third year. We've got a first-year quarterback. We've got Finn Murray, who really uh, showed us something last week. He was 10 for 23. He threw two touchdowns. And any time you have an A-B quarterback throwing two touchdowns, that reminds me passes. of you. That, no. Yeah, 23 passes. Ah, I, don't know. I don't know if I ever threw 23 passes. Ah, you That's might exciting have. I for a quarterback. I think you did. I mean, you were the last great passing quarterback <laughs> for A-B. Uh, but I think you and your dad have a lot of insight uh, into Finn Murray, and I've got a couple of questions for you. Number one, talk to us a little bit about Finn, about his athleticism, about his makeup, and also you're in a really special position because you went in as a sophomore starting quarterback, and I'd like to know what it's like when you hit your first action, uh, how the game slows down for you eventually, and what Finn is going through as a sophomore quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. Well. 
uh, as you alluded to, my, my father has worked with Finn over a number of years, uh, from coaching him in Pop Warner to just working out with him in the summers. And, you know, he talks very highly of him as, as uh, not only as an athlete, as a quarterback, but as a person and as a leader. And so it's going to be exciting to see, you know, as you said, a sophomore quarterback stake the field for AB. I can't remember the last time that happened. Uh, but it's, just, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, you take the leadership of the seniors and the juniors and, and everybody around you, and, and you get comfortable out there. You know, it's the, the game's going to slow down. It's going to be fast at first. But coming out throwing 23 passes last, last game. Yeah, that was amazing. Game, you get the jitters out right there. And yeah. Like yeah. we were saying before, Finn is an incredible athlete, and he's going to make plays no matter what. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take some time with this new offense and, and, and the new scheme around things, but it's exciting for AB. I can't wait to see it. And what was it for you in your for your first action? Well, I tell so you, coming, coming I was in, nervous. You obviously, you were playing with the A Bears, and, yeah. and uh, I mean, it was pretty exciting. Was, but what was it like for you to go out with your first action? Yeah, it, it was nerve wracking. I was very fortunate to have, like I said, great leaders around me in our senior class, and Rory Hurl and Mike DeCesar, Jason Ant, and Brendan yeah, Flynn. All great players. All yeah, great players. Yeah, yeah. Great leaders. And even in the junior class above me, with Kevin Gallant. Barry Jeanson, all those guys, uh, you know, it, we were just fortunate to have so many leaders on the field. And I had played with those guys for so long. So yeah. I think they had confidence in me, just like the team has confidence in Finn. Well, that's great. It should be a really exciting game. I mean, Reading is ranked number 14 right now in the Globe Top 20. They've been historically a great program. They're moving to Division 1A from Division 2. And as far as AB is concerned, Liam Murray may be coming back next week. I spoke with uh, I spoke with Mr. C, and the pins may be coming out, and Liam Murray will be back either next week or the week after. Next week we play Concord Carlisle, uh, and it's good to uh, get Jack Maddox back. Um, uh, Jack was suspended for the first game, but he's back now. Uh, we've got a couple other players that are injured. Pat Douglas is not going. And Nick Sh and uh, Shaughnessy is still recovering from that really horrific heat stroke incident uh, this summer. So it uh, should be an exciting game. And uh, both teams have a lot to prove tonight. They really do. And I, and I think they both feel they have a lot to prove. So what do you say, Hank? Let's, Let's play, play some, some football. football. This has been the Acton TV pregame show brought to you by Acton Pharmacy and Shire, Kate, and Epstein, PC. Shire, Caton and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Today's game has been brought to you by the Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, the Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Enterprise Bank, TC Landos, Dunkin' Donuts, Arsip and Stewart, PC. TD Bank. AB won the toss. They have deferred. They'll be kicking to the Rockets to number five, Nick DiNapoli, and number eight, Eric D'Agostino. 
and Connor Cates is getting ready to get the festivities started. It's a pooch, and it's taken by one of the upmen, and that's number 44. Well, we don't have his number, we don't have his name, but the ball's at the 25-yard line where Redding will take over first and 10. And, the, and Hank, their quarterback, uh, uh, De Laurento, football may not be his best sport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you were a baseball player. This kid's an incredible ball player. Third baseman batted 468 last wow. season as a, as a junior. This kid loves to run the ball. He will run left a lot. He's, n he's not fully right-handed. He'll run both ways. Right up the middle, and a good push. And that's number five. He's gonna get a lot of action to Napoli because Jack Geiger, their primary runner, is hurt today and will not be playing. Five-yard gain. Good start right there for the Rockets. Amy's going to have to contain that. Can't be giving up nine yards on first down. Second and inches from the shotgun. And he's looking, and he's got Panacopoulos for a first down right on the sideline. And it's a first down for the Rockets and around the 37-yard line. Got a strong arm, Hank. Yeah, D'Agostino comes out, and, or DiLoretto, excuse me, and comes out and looking around and sees that soft coverage. It's easy, easy going to that out. All right, first and 10 at the 38-yard line. In the shotgun again. They've got Gore in motion. And has it, he loves to run that play right up the middle. And good yardage once again, Hank. Yeah, the playbook really opens up when you got second and short, you know. It's uh, come out throwing or passing here. Okay, that's out to, that's to Cole Papalato, and not quite enough for a first down, so it's gonna be the first third down situation uh, for the Rockets. And they, they may feel that they're in four down territory already, I Hank. Say that. I, I, I agree with you, with the, the ability of the quarterback to run and pass, it makes things easier on fourth down and short. All right, we're missing Mark Chuddick, number 56. He's at a family, family wedding this weekend. There he goes, and he gets a first down. He just pirouettes. Yeah, using that big body to move forward and just get that first down. Put that yeah, ball yeah. over. Okay, here's a replay, Hank. Take a look at this. Yeah, nice little fake here. Like I said, just going to use that big body and fall forward. Get yeah, some good he, momentum. He's 6'4", uh, 200 pounds, good size. First and 10, right at the midfield line. And he's fading back, here he goes. And throw, easy, target. And that is Panacopoulos on the sideline for a first down. Nice 12 yard comeback. That's a, that's a, to the, to the Take a long look. side of the field here, you're gonna see. That's a long throw. That's a, that's a strong throw by the Loretto right there. Put it right on the money. Yeah, I watched some film on De Loretto and, and he really has a strong arm. And he'll go to both sides of the field, both running and passing. Good timing by him and the receiver on that. And right up the middle again. And De Loretto has, has found a seam, and it's working here. Yeah, Redding really kind of doing whatever they want. A little bit of run, a little bit of pass, very efficient. 
Well, what you, what you need here is, uh, is some kind of stop, a play for a loss. See Loretto coming off the field. He lost his helmet. And I think number four, a pa uh, Papakopoulos is a second string quarterback. He's in right now. See Loretto is out, second and four. And he, oh, a saving tackle there by Cal Sullivan. Okay, take a look at this, Hank. Look at what Cal Sullivan did here. Yeah, touchdown saving tackle. Really just not wrapping up on the uh, defensive side here, but Cal Sullivan, good range on the, uh, in the defensive backfield there, makes a big, big tackle. Okay, almost in the red zone here. And there's De Loretto going to the left, trying to get the edge. And good pursuit on the part AB. Cal Sullivan was there. And Jack Maddox. Nothing fancy there, QB sweep. Once again, using that big body, staying behind your blockers. But you know, uh, yeah, 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 you know, Hank, we were saying it almost looked like a successful defensive stop, but it but he got five yards on it, second and five. So we still have to find a way. They've got a lot of weapons and a lot of formations. Second and five. Right up the middle once again. Now, here he goes. And that is once again, Another Cal nice Sullivan, yeah. yeah. Another nice job of Cal coming up this time, coming up hard, cutting down the angle. The first down for the Rockets. Check it out again. AB just seems to yeah, be a step lot, behind. Yeah, you know? a lot of, lot, of, lot of missed tackles there, as you say, a step behind. Okay, first and goal from the eight. Rockets lining up. They've just marched down the field so far in the first quarter here to the Napoli. And he is taken down at around the five yard line. Good pursuit there. And good gang tackling by the Colonials. Swallowed that up quick. This is a big stop here. Playbook uh, gets a little smaller when you get down into the goal, into the red zone here. You can't spread it out like you normally want, would want to. Uh, you gotta cut the routes down a little bit, so. Look for AB to be aggressive. There he goes, there's a flip to DiNapoli. Sullivan chasing him, Great and he tackle. catches him! And he took oh. out the referee. <laughs> that's, a, that's a double right there. Cal Sullivan with a great defensive stop as DiNapoli was trying to make the edge there. Take a look at this. DiNapoli going to the edge and Sullivan beating him to it. A good pursuit by Cal. And uh, he wanted to make sure the ref wasn't gonna make the call uh, in, in Redding's favor, so he took him out too. All right, third and goal. Big, big stop here. Got a timeout. Got a timeout. Okay, with our first timeout, why don't we take a look at the Globe Top 20? And you can see right at the top here, Zaverian. And Zaverian has some relevance to you, Hank, because you were part of that 52-game streak. You started a lot of games in that 52-game streak. Zaverian now, by beating Everett last Friday night, 17 to 14, has now won 25 games 25. in a row. Wow. 25 in a row. That's pretty good. And you'll see number 17, our Thanksgiving Day rival, Westford, is the only DCL team in the top 20, but Concord Carlisle is right below their our, uh, opponent next week. Uh, Westford coming in once again, very similar to Reading. Quarterback starting multiple years. Yeah, and a very, very good, good quarterback. Very good quarterback. Okay, third and goal. Time for a big defensive stop here. Right up the middle. And they stop him. They, Reading players are, are holding up their hands. But I don't think they got in. Whoa, let's.
Bucks take a look here. It's very close. And now they're going to run it's up to the line. Down. Quick snap it if they can. And I think is AB going to call it down? Oh, and he's going to push. He's in. De Loretto is in on that second push. Let's take a look at the replay on that. And like you said, Hank, they quick snapped it. Yeah, looking to get AB to jump initially, and then. Okay, take a look. Using that big body of De Loretto, just pushing through. And there. you see Gore, number 15, all 230 pounds, making sure that De Loretto got into the end zone. Okay, Weston Robinson for the kick. De Loretto holding. The kick is ugly, but it's good. And it's seven nothing Reading with 5.46 to go in the first quarter. If you're Reading, you gotta be confident with that first time, really doing whatever they would have liked to. Run, pass, doing it a little both, a little bit of the running back, a little bit of the quarterback, so. Yeah, they, I mean, they really ate up a lot of time. That was, that was literally half of the first quarter. Yeah. And there, there are a couple of, couple of stops that A.B. made, but uh, they really have to tighten up on that. And let's see if A.B. can, uh, can answer here. I spoke with Coach Maver, and he said that tonight he's gonna try to go a little bit more up-tempo. And we'll, we'll see how that works. A little bit more no huddle, I love that. Let's get a bunch of let's 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 maximize the play count. Let's get as much uh, much throws in as we can tonight. I'm still I'm still taken back by the 23. Right. Well, what, what are you going for? 30 Woo. throws tonight? Woo. I would love that. The 30 passes. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I literally I can't remember the last time that uh, we put the ball in the air 23 times. I love it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, there's a little pooch. And good field position for AB. It's good. Uh, get a little look, looking at the crowd tonight. It's a confidence builder for AB and for myself seeing a, a former quarterback, David Crocker, showing up here. Yeah, well, Crocker's here. Seen I it. haven't seen Crocker. I want to tell you, that was Scotty Howe, our center. Who, uh, who made that fabulous kick return. We, we, we may want to put him deep. Yeah, let's get him back there. Scotty Howe, number 59, who is covering for Hunter Shaughnessy while he is hurt. And here we go. And Keith Maber is calling the plays. Tim Bassett is in the stands. Yeah, Sign uh, signaling the plays. The yeah, plays down to right, Keith. exactly. There's a jet, and it, okay. Oh, the Connor Cates, and that's the way they started the Chelmsford game with the jet. And that jet was really broken up very quickly in Chelmsford. Let's see if it works a little bit better tonight. Got about a four-yard gain on that. Okay, Murray to the left, and he's gonna keep it. Oh, he gets, oh, there's a flag on that play. That could be a helmet to helmet hit. Let's take a look and see if that's a personal foul against Redding. Yeah, it looked like the, the flag might have been thrown before the hit, so I'm wondering if it's a hold. It could ball. be a hold or. Yeah, that flag came in pretty quickly. Most likely a hold because they are conferring with uh, with Reading right now. Yeah, they're going to decline that. They're, wow, interesting. Declining a holding call. That's pretty unusual. Especially in a yeah. second down situation. Okay. Third and long here. And about seven. Cal Sullivan. Up there and Dee Dee out there. Whoa. There we go. And Murray back to pass. Here's a throw. It's complete to Sullivan. And he may get that first down. 
A great second effort. I think they're calling it a bit short. And we're about a yard and a half short from first down here. What do you do? What do you do? I think you go for it. Take a look at this play by Cal Sullivan. It's great effort. Yeah, nice, nice job. And the they're running pass. again here. Here we go. Fourth and one. Let's see if Finn keep. Let's see if it's a keeper here. Oh, timeout. Timeout, AB. Well, Hank, I think I think you have to do this with an offense that is, uh, you know, as powerful as Reading. I think you have to try to keep the ball, keep possession, and and compress the time of the game. Absolutely, keeping the ball out of De Loretto's hands is is key, right? And and and, and with AB having some success on that last throw, I, you know, I, it seems like Redding's coming out and they're playing a very soft coverage. So everything underneath should be there. I, you know, obviously expect them to play a little bit, uh, a little bit tighter now, but uh, due, due to be, being fourth down, but you still got to respect the run at this point as well. So. Well, let's see, I'm looking for, for Finn, Finn Murray on a keeper. As you said, he's a, he is a great athlete, a great lacrosse player. It's very, it's very good speed. And, uh, and he's got uh, some decent size. He's not a small No, player, not at all. Not at all. And all. Yeah, and he's going to fill out yeah, in the next absolutely. couple of years. And let's see if he goes right up the middle. And they, let's see the second effort. No, they stop it. They stop it. A.B. does not get the first down. And Redding is going to take over on downs at the Acton Boxborough 46 yard line. Well, uh, they, they had everybody bunched right up at the middle there, Hank. Yeah, looking for that run. Couldn't get a surge off the line. A big stop here. Well, you got number 78 caught in the middle of 345 Okay, here they come. That was, that was only about a minute and a half there, Hank. Oh, 416 to go in the first quarter. De Loretto to DiNapoli once again. Oh, there goes DiNapoli. Just missed tackle after missed tackle, yeah, Hank. Three, four missed tackles, arm tackles right there. Running hard, though. DiNapoli running hard. Yeah, take, take a look here again. because I thought, we, I thought we had him about two yards in, and he got away from that. And keeps those legs yeah. moving. Good, good low to the ground, Hank. Good leverage. Annapolis averaging about five yards a carry. Okay, rolling back. Long throw and just overthrown. Good coverage right there by Cates. Really would have had to put that in the, in the hole there with Calvin Sullivan come over the top yeah, as well. Yeah, there's good, good safety coverage over the top. And it's uh, second and 10. Okay, De Loretto going back again. There's a little middle screen. And it's a first down. Perfectly executed middle screen to uh, Devolio, Anthony Devolio. Very well done. Good time to call that. You no know AB's going to bring the pressure. You'll see on the replay here. AB's bringing the pressure up the middle. De Loretto does a nice job making him come. That's a uh, nice and easy play. Okay, once again, Reading deep in AB territory here. De Loretto faking, faking the pass, QB draw, and good nothing by, doing. Good, good pursuit. Good Kate, stringing it out, allowing pursuit to come from the backside. Very good pursuit on that play. Didn't have to make a tackle all by himself. Once again, this clock continues to tick, though. Uh, 
that's probably our, our most successful defensive uh, stop at this point. All right, second and nine here. See Loretto. Oh, a great play. And Graham Tobin coming in, just knifing in. All right, let's, wa let's, let's watch this play here, Hank. Yeah, Tobin shed that block like nothing, came in like a torpedo. Nice hit, big play. Bring up third down and long. Okay, this is the first third and long that Redding has faced so far. There's the Loretto fading back, and he's gonna he's gonna run it. Looks like a hold. Oh, do we have a flag on that? No. Nope. No flag, but no no gain on the play, so it's gonna be fourth down. And unless they've got uh, Guskowski as a field goal kicker, I think they're gonna go go for it on fourth down. Yeah, the tight end's coming out of the game, so look for him to spread it out a little bit more here. Okay, here's, here's where the uh, secondary really has to be cognizant of the, the, the where the first down marker is. They can give they can give up seven or eight yards here and take the ball over. Fourth and eleven. Okay, here he goes. There's pressure. Great pressure. Okay, Jack Maddox coming in. In his yeah, first looking quarter, to, looking player. to go with that comeback again that worked on the outside, but uh, pressure uh, really took away the uh, option there. He had to get rid of it sooner. Okay, as take see. a look at Jack yeah. Maddox here. Maddox causing the pressure. You'll see that DiLoretto has to get rid of it before the receiver turns around, and that timing's off. So great job by the defense. All That's right. a huge stop. Right Good stop. Good stop. And uh, we take the ball over. 155 to go in the first quarter. Let's see if this gives the offense a little lift here. You really don't see that. Have you ever seen that at AB where they look? Yeah, where so what they're they, doing is yeah, they're looking at they're, the base of the right. defense. They, they want to see if there's any movement by a hard count call, and then they adjust from there. It's nice. It's different. It is. Ben Murray. That is incomplete to Didi Matelier. That little four hitch there all the way across the board. Just a little low. Good good, good coverage on the, by the defense, though. That's a long throw. I think at some point they're going to they're gonna stretch the defense with, with, uh, with DD. Maybe a stop and go, something like that. Second and ten. Finn Murray fading back. Throws it deep. Oh, a lot of traffic there. Intended for Jack Maddox, just overthrown. But uh, you, you had two receivers really running running in the, in the same vicinity. If we look at a replay on that, we'll see Cal Sullivan and Jack Maddox. Yeah, you'll see a little, we'll call it a four tear. So you've got four seams, or you got two seams up the middle, and you got the goes on the outside. Yeah. And Maddox just took a little bit outside there, so you got that congestion. Yeah. yeah. I little like tra the little traffic jam there. I mean, okay. that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good ball. That's a, not, not well thrown, but that's a deep ball. Okay, third and long. Didi not oh. even really looking, not expecting the ball. I think there was a communication problem there on that, on that route because Didi, as you say, was not even looking back for the ball, and uh, it's uh, fourth down. Connor Cates coming in to kick. It's uh, not a good kick and not a good bounce. And that's, a, that's almost a turnover, Hank. Because that... Watch. 
Yeah, once again, we're gonna have to, they're gonna take over the ball deep in our territory at the 34 yard line and just just got past the first first down marker. Reading was setting up a return there too. Looked like they uh, weren't getting too much pressure on Cates. Maybe CAB do a, put they'll put a little more pressure on them with maybe a rugby kick next time. Use the athleticism yeah, Kate, of Cates. Yeah, he does a very nice rugby kick. All right, first and ten. Oh, take a look at this. Filaretto is just weaving his way through the Acton line. Take, take a look at the way he changes direction here. He's got great vision, steps out. Still staying behind yep. that line, too. Yep. That's, a, that's a good run, first down. All right, second and short now. Goes right up the middle, and a good stop there. Big good stop. stop. Post of acting players looked like Jack Maddox. Yeah, Maddox. Well. Maddox was right in there, and it's going to be third down. You know, last week De Loretto had a, had probably one of his worst games of his career. He was eight for eight for twenty three for like seventy seven yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Central Catholic really contained him. Yeah, very good Central Catholic. Program. Oh, they're an excellent team. Uh, excellent. You know, especially over the last five years, they've been very strong. Whoa, you know, look at pretty, that bullet. Whoa. You know, pretty interesting with Di Loretto, if you see there, he, he doesn't even take a drop. He's so tall and you can see over the line that he just catches the ball and stands there. And, you know, that's going to get you in trouble every once in a while. You want to get some ba get a step back, get, get some buffer against that D-line. So. I'd like to see A.B. put a little bit of pressure on him, yeah, especially with uh, some of the bigger guys we got up, like Jack Maddox, who's, who's the same size as him. Exactly, and, and he reminds me a bit of Colin Degenhardt from, uh, from Westford. Yeah. He's got that, that same size as Degenhardt. Okay, fourth down. A possession play here. It's to the corner, and perfectly thrown. To you know, backup quarterback, Matt Panacopoulos. Pretty good coverage hit on AB, but a perfect throw always beats perfect coverage. All right, look at look at this. Look at that throw. Absolutely on the money, and it's 13 to nothing. And first kick was a little ugly. Let's see what this extra point looks like. And it's blocked. Okay. Okay, look at this. All oh, the middle of the AB line comes in and... Another low kick by Redding. Yeah. Yeah, that, for that first one just barely made it. All right, that's the end of the first quarter. And Hank, we just uh, we just learned that uh, uh, the Allied Community Media, uh, which is basically runs all the local cable uh, stations throughout the country, had have their awards. And for the Northeast section of the United States, which covers all of New England and New York, the AB football broadcast won second place uh, this year. And, and we're very proud of it. And I want to thank I want to thank the whole staff. I want to thank particularly uh, Rick Degon and also uh, Tim Leto, who's probably the best play-by-play -play guy around. I can't argue that. Connor Cates. Okay, at the 20, at the 25, seeing a little changing all the way over the 30. Nice run back by Connor Cates. Tough run by Cates, earning every yard of that. AB needs, can need every yard. Every one tonight. I'd like to see Cates get involved with the offense a little bit here too. Such a such a, a big playmaker. Well, he's been, you know, he he run, he runs that. Yeah, we call we call him the. Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the Swiss Army Knife yeah. guy, you know, because he, he does everything. 
Let's take a look at this run. Once again, finding his way through, almost like De Loretto did. Just no hard yards. stepping around. Okay, here we go. First and 10, 13 to nothing, Redding. Let's see if they test the middle of this Redding defense here. Here we go. We'll play. There's good, good play. Connor Cates coming around. And that's good yardage. That's good first down yardage, about five yards, Hank. It may look a little different in the pistol, but that's going back to that old bread and butter ABC. Yeah, that, that is. 36 power right yeah. there out of the pistol. Hey, Mark, this Marino just to the right. There we go again. Same play. And not quite as successful this time. Probably a loss of a yard. It's going to give us about a third and five as Kate's coming around again on a 36 power. I'd like to see Jack Maddox get involved in the offense here. He is split right right now, and he is an imposing target at six four and a half. Yeah, a little bit of a height difference on the outside here for him as well to his advantage. So, like a little a little slant to to, uh, to Jack. Deep oh, drop. Yeah, I got that out. And almost picked off. And that was Chris Gian Giancino almost picking that off. And now we're back to fourth down here. And a kicking situation. Connor Cates, let's see if he does that rugby kick this time. And about eight yards to go for the first down. And Eric D'Agostino is back deep for Redding on about his 30 yard line. Much better kick, great hang time. And I'm surprised he even tried to catch that. Nice great catch, catch by, yeah, I know. That looked like a David Ortiz pop up there. Everybody is wishing a happy birthday to Nelson Burbank, 95 years old. Wish him a happy birthday too. We have no <laughs> idea who he is, but we'll wish him a happy birthday. Anyone who makes Anybody 95, right? Yeah, happy it. birthday. <laughs> Even if they're here, we go. Riding. Okay, first down, and once again, a good push to Napoli right up the middle. Got Justin Dudiak in there. Got Mac Clabeau. Right up the middle. He just picks his spots, you know? He just, like you said, he's so big and he's got such vision that he can just kind of pick his spots as he goes along. Once again, he loses his helmet. And Panacopoulos, who caught that touchdown pass, now comes in as quarterback with a first and 10 on the 49-yard line. Yeah, every time you lose your, if you lose your helmet. Yeah, you have to take a playoff, yeah. You better strap that thing up or tighten it up or something. That's, that's, that's inexcusable. Now you see Gore, he's been in motion as the H-back. And they're not afraid to run it. Real nice They're not afraid to throw it. Good throw by Panacopoulos to uh, Augustino cut cut down the outside cornerback yeah. on that really really yeah nice take play a look at this here. didn't waste any time Let's see if we can just get a, that replay just a just a good play now that we're back live first and ten for Redding right up the middle. 
and too much yardage. Get about five, six yards a pop with DiNapoli. Second and five. We got Tobin as the mic there, middle linebacker. You see Tom Brady say, watch the mic, watch the mic. That's Graham Tobin. And there he goes, all the way. Making it look easy, DiLoretto on the keeper. And Redding scores its third touchdown. Okay, take a look at this. Wasn't it was it wasn't hardly even touched. I don't think he got touched. Nope. And Redding, who was uh, soundly defeated last week by a great Central Catholic team, is uh, is coming in as an angry team today. Sure looks like it. Now they're going for two. Let's see if it's another keeper. No, it's a pitch. Lost out left. And no, did he make it? He did not make it. Right at the pylon. That was Nick DiNapoli and stopped right at the pylon. If we could take a look at that replay and see who got him at the pylon. It looked like Didi making the initial yeah. stop and, and another one of the defensive backs coming up and finishing him off. There he goes. There, there's DiNapoli. Oh, great for Yeah, who that yeah, was on it was DD and, and uh, I don't know if it was, was it Kyle Camposano. Number four. Okay. There we go, right up the middle. And Connor Cates has got it again. Going to the left. Another good return by Connor Cates. He's one little gap from breaking one of these. Yeah, I know, I know. He, he almost did it the last time. And we just, we need a break. We need to get something going here. All right, we got Cal Sullivan split out right. I'd like to see AB run a quick count one of these times, catch him off guard, that'd be nice. Okay, there goes Zach Olson. Zach, big Zach, just pounding his way for about three yards. I just wonder, Hank, if they're you know starting running some misdire a few misdirection plays. I came out early with the jet, so you and it was successful the first time. Yeah, second and nine. Here's, there we go. Good run there. Ben Murray with just an outlet to Connor Cates. And he gets about five yards on that. So we've got a big third down situation here with a third and five. And we really need to convert. Third and medium, very manageable. Okay, tough snap. Finn Murray. Oh, held on to the ball too long. And it's fourth and long right now. 
Okay, you can see this. And Finn Murray is just backpedaling and backpedaling. That's a time to just try to get rid of the ball. And Connor Cates is going to get a lot of a lot of snaps today as a punter. Mrs. Marino is here, exhorting the team on as she always does. She travels well, you know, Hank. She she's been doing it for years, ever since I was a little kid. So well, be, All right. before I was and a little that's, kid. Fumbled right there. Let's see what happens AB's here. He's got a chance to get Let's this Let's see ball. if it's A.B. Ball. No, it looks like the Rockets have recovered right on their 40-yard line. It looked like the referee blew the whistle a little bit early there. Yeah. Yeah, let's take, let's take a look at that. Another nice, there, nice Yeah, punt. good kick. And there's there's the bobble, and he, yeah, he just fell on that. All right, ball on the 39-yard line. We've got 5:08 to go in the first half, reading up by three scores, but they missed an extra point in the two-point conversion, so it's 19 to nothing. And De Loretto fading back. And looks another like a screen. screen. Looked like another screen, but he's got. Oh, that is. That is intentional grounding. Yeah, I think they're going to call face mask on AB. It looks like he pulled him down. Oh, Jack Maddox. Let's take a look at that. Oh, AB, that. If AB can keep putting pressure on Dilarano, they're going to be able to cause some turnovers. He's somewhat careless with the ball. You see at the end of that play, you just kind of let it go lefty. Like yeah, there goes a face mask. Okay, you call it, Hank. Yeah, you're going to see the face mask. Oh, yeah, right, right there. But you see just kind of throwing the ball around. At, at that point, you just got to, you know, first down, take it, tuck it, live to see another day. But face mask bailed him out. All right, this brings the ball all the way to the 46-yard line. And it's first and 10 for the Rockets once again. Everybody up here. Everybody up. Everyone in the box. And there he goes. Another touchdown. And Hank, it's getting ugly here. Yeah, that's just a really nice run. Once again, looked like a little bit of over pursuit on the interior line for AB. Really sprung that hole for. Take a look at Napoli. He has got quick feet. He's very low to the ground. And look at that cut. That, that cut would set him free. Which picks up a nice block here on the outside as oh, well. And another nice block by uh, uh, Panacopoulos there. He's involved in every single play, it seems like. With that, Napoli has, Napoli has 100 yards. All right, that yeah. gives uh, uh, the Napoli 100 yards rushing with four minutes and 49 seconds to go. There's a two-point conversion, and it stops. And we have a very odd score of 25 to nothing, Hank. Sounds, sounds like a, a cribbage <laughs> score, you know? Well, as, uh, as Mr. Tim Lito would say, in games like this, you start looking for every little positive you can find. Got to build on something. And you, yeah. and you got to, you know, you got to stay with the game and look for the positives and, and work on your game. It's not going to get easier next week. Uh, next week is Concord Carlisle and, uh, and they are a powerhouse. Better than Redding, yeah. uh, they, they, they destroyed Rutland, Vermont. In, the, in, in their first game, and uh, they've got a lot of really good skill players. And once again, we're on the road. We're on the road for the first three weeks of the season. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a favorable schedule in regards to home games this year. Okay, here's a kickoff. And is that is that Camposano? Another good, another good return. We're getting good returns, good field position.
make something happen on this on this drive. Well, we still we still we still haven't tested the interior line that much of Reading. I mean, it may be that we feel that we that we just can't beat them, so we don't go that way. But you gotta gotta try something different at, at some point. Uh, Jack Maddox looks like looks like he's grown about two inches and added about 20 pounds. <laughs> he's a big kid. A tight end there on the right side. Back to pass, Finn Murray. And overthrows Maddox. Uh, he, you know, I, I, I have to give it to, to Finn there. You know, he's putting the ball. It looked like Maddox stopped running his route. And, and that's the second time tonight I've seen an AB receiver stop running their route or not look. Right. That just can't happen. you got to finish your route. Don't assume you're not going to be getting the ball. Because that's when you do. <laughs> second down. AB trying to make something positive happen here. Right up the middle, here we go, and that's it. And that's what I'm talking about. That's a good gain. It's a five yard gain. They got a good push. Yep. Once again, very manageable third and medium. You open up that playbook, you can do a lot with it. And Maddox is split out right here. Zach Olson really running like a, like a bowling ball. And let's see if he gets the ball again. Beautiful All right, start. great pass. And he finished the route that time, and that is a first down for AB. All right, you call it, Hank. Yeah, just a nice, uh, they run everybody up the seams and, and run everybody on the go, and they bring the two outside guys in. Like that play, nicely timed by both the receiver and the uh, quarterback on that. There you go, Connor Cates in the jet. They fake the jet. Finn Murray, nothing happening yeah, throwing there. Throwing it away. Probably a good play by Finn. I mean, he's been under a lot of pressure. Yeah, he's been flushed out of the pocket a few times tonight. You know, I'd like to see him take a step up in the pocket, let the, let the brush come around him a little bit. Seems like the middle of the field's opening up. And you can see they're moving. It's more up-tempo football right now. And right up the middle. Great hit. Well-timed there. And it's third and 10. You see that replay. OK, uh, you can look. A little bit of hesitation. There you go, coming back to pass. And once again, a big rush. And a Beautiful great catch. catch. Cal Sullivan. And it's a first down, Cal Sullivan. We got to take another look at this. That ball. That ball looked like it was tip tank. Yeah, Redding's in a soft cover three. Good job by Murray stepping up, letting it go. Cal doing oh, a good yeah, job of shielding great, up that, great. Up that defensive back. He bodied Beautiful him play. up. And once again, we're up to the line of scrimmage here. Six. Quick tempo, there we go. Six. There's Kyle Camposano yep. nice getting upended, yep. I'm really looking for Capizano to do big things. I, th I think this kid can be a real explosive runner. He showed, showed some real, real good promise last year. Back to pass, Finn Murray. He's got some time now. Running, running left. 
Oh, good Ooh. job giving him a chance there. I like that. I like that. Good job by Maddox going up trying to get it. Once again, number four for the Rockets. Yeah, he's everywhere. Uh, he's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, he can, he can throw a touchdown pass. He can catch a touchdown <laughs> pass. He can run for a touchdown. All right, third down. Well, we got Italy. Yeah. Legal procedure here. We got a false start. That's going to be five yards, and that's going to put us into a, about a third and nine. So a third and eight. Two down territory here for Acton. You can look at this as, as a, a two part series here. Yeah, I would, I would definitely look this as four down territory here. Let's see if they run it. No. Didn't look like Murray was ready for that snap. Getting held. Deep oh, getting held. once again, great defense. I don't know how you don't call that. His shirt was held visibly from way over here. Let's take a look at that. That, that was a great pass by Murray on the run. Good looked job like, looked your like eyes a well-timed hit. And here we go, yeah. fourth down. They're going for it. Oh. I don't know how the Zebras missed that one. Time out. Well, you know, in a, in a game like this, Hank, you know, you, you, you really do need the benefit of the doubt Absolutely. Uh, from the Zebras. That seemed like a pretty obvious call with two refs right there looking at it. Yeah, one, one kid holding on to him, the other kid making a, a very well-timed hit. Well, hopefully next week we get Liam Murray back for Concord Carlisle and, and you know, and Hunter Shaughnessy. Uh, you know, one one by one, hopefully they'll be coming back over the next couple of weeks and we'll really, really have a full complement of players. Okay, the ball is in Rockets territory at the 40-yard line. And they may be bringing everybody on this play. Good protection. Oh, little uh, little extracurricular activity there, Hank. Did you see that at the end? I missed it. No, a little. Yeah, let's take let's take a look at this play. Let's see what happens right after this play. Like, well, once again, I'd like to see Murray kind of step up in the pocket here as opposed to continuing to flush out to the left side. I know it's well, a strong throwing side, but. Yeah, I know, but and he's, 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 all, you know, he's always on the run. He's always yeah. throwing from the run instead of uh, setting his feet. Yeah, no real pressure there. Uh, A.B. Line doing a good job up front on that play. Okay, you've got a tight formation here with two backs. Right up the middle for about four yards. Let's try to keep it away from uh, DiNapoli here. It's already in triple digits. Second and six. And right up the middle. And good, good pursuit by AB here. going to bring us to the two-minute warning. One minute and 46 seconds. Well, and it looked like a nope. Yeah, yeah, there's no, no real two-minute warning, yeah. but uh, yeah. time, time yeah. out yeah. ready. Yeah. Their own two-minute warning. We can call it the yeah. two-minute warning. So how's Bentley doing this year, your alma mater? So they're one and one. I uh, was able to catch the first game of the season uh, two weeks ago at Saturday at home. They played... Uh, 
Westchester, Pennsylvania, who was projected to be a very good team uh, in Division II this year, and they had a tight game, and Bentley ended up losing by three, but uh, ended up turning it around against St. Anselm last week and getting a win. So they're one for one. Uh, it's an exciting time for Bentley. You know, being, a, being a former player there, uh, they have a, a great coaching staff who is really uh, you know, focused on student athletes, and you know, it's, it's a, you know, being a Bentley as a, such an academic. It's got a great it academic a, in, reputation. In the, in the yeah. region, it's, uh, it's good to see that they're continuing the football tradition as well. All right, 146 to go. Third down play here. The Loretto looking, looking, now running. He's being chased. And that ball goes nowhere. We had three defenders around there, and it's fourth down. And let's see if we can stop him on fourth down and get the ball back and make one more run here to get some points. AB's going to get another crack at it. Looking forward to see Cates get a big return on this. Wow, they're punting. I'm surprised. Oh, there's a timeout. Let's see if they're... Okay. All right, here we go. It looks like they're punting. I'm surprised. Fourth and five. And it's a high snap. And then the kick is blocked. Okay, that's a break. We needed that break, Hank. And once again, you know, there, there's, there's, there's some stuff going on here. Uh, if we can get a replay of that, of that pass, pass play, you'll, you'll see where uh, that Reading player uh, really, here, take a look at this. Finn Murray fading back. And there's the pass, and watch what happens after this. Look at that Reading player. He's yeah. just going right after him. Yeah, and, that, and that, that's, that's bad business. That's bad stuff. All right, let's see. We've got a minute and a half to traverse. 36 yards. Let's see what we can do. We've got Didi split out right. Let's make something happen here. Ben Murray. That's good. That's what, that's what you're talking about. That's, that's great. He's in the pocket, takes a five-step drop, sets himself and throws it to Jack Maddox. There we go, deep. But I like what he's doing, Hank. I like that he's setting himself in the pocket. He's, he's setting his feet and he's throwing the ball. He's, he's not always on the run here. Yeah, it looks like uh, some laundry in the carpet. Yeah, like yeah, little, we, uh, have, we might have a hold. I don't know if we have a hold or a personal foul here. Whoa. Yeah, defensive holding. That's an automatic first down. Okay, plenty of time, couple of timeouts, a minute six to go. Hank, you can you can you can run the ball here. Yeah, a you you use a couple yeah. of timeouts. You, you don't have to put the ball in the air in every place. Camposano is behind Murray. And a nice ball. throw. Beautiful, right up the middle. That's the Connor Cates. 
and he goes to the eight yard line. Good job, Connor Cates. Not afraid to go over the middle with the, with the big boys. Okay, let's look at let's look at Connor Cates go over the middle here. Murray. Just looking right over. Connor Cates right in the middle. And we've got second and short here. Plenty of time. I'd like to see, I'd like to see Camposano get the ball here. He's got it, he's going to the left. He's trying to get the edge, and I think he gets a first down. I think he might just be short. Looks like he's marking him just short of the first down. Not sure if very, he's going to stop all Very over. close. That's... No, he's about, he's about a yard short. Almost a yard short. And the clock is stopped with him going out of bounds. And there's a pitch. And they stop it dead. And now it's fourth down. Tough call, tough call there, Hank. And then on that third third down play. What I'd like to see is maybe maybe a quarter quarterback draw, you know, with Finn Murray going back and there there's the uh, the pitch, but yeah. they had that smoked out. Easily. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they wanted to run a little option there. Uh, you got to force that defensive end to make a decision. You're going for the quarterback and you're going for the running back, and he was able to do both on that. So tough play. Okay, you got Kate, Sullivan, and Didi split out right. And there's a throw. Nice. Oh, it's not, it's short, I believe. No, first down. First down. Yeah, first down, looked like he got to the Whoa, four yard just line. made it. Six yard, five yard line. Okay, hurry up nice now, catch, 38 nice seconds, Lots yeah. success over the middle right now. And he basically spiked the ball here to save time. You wonder how many timeouts they have left. Okay, take a look at that first down pass. Murray finding himself, and they just got that first down. Ah, oh, it'd be such a, such a boost to get a score here before the half. Okay, coming back, and he's under pressure. Beautiful. Oh, yes, sir! Beautiful and that is a call. touchdown, Kyle Camposano. And Finn Murray, under extreme pressure, gets that ball out and in stride to Kyle Camposano, and Kyle's got the speed to make it to the pylons. Take a look at this, Hank. Uh, it looked like Bass saw something up top that no coverage on that running back. Redding's coming with that man man under every time and they're coming out with that man that means that responsibility is on that linebacker to cover that running back got a little mismatch there well, that was nice okay let's see if we can kick that extra point and make this more of a game here still bringing it with the swinging gate you gotta love it yeah well, that swinging gate's been there since the beginning of time and that kick is no good Whoa, uh, you know, it's Very funny, Tim, Tim and I say that we can't call an extra point. That extra point looked perfect to me, <laughs> absolutely perfect. But uh, from this angle, you just, you just don't know. It's nice to get uh, AB on the board here, though. And 
also good to know. AB AB deferred in the first half, right? So right, yeah, we're going to so get the ball get uh, to start the, the second so half. Can stop here, but. Well, that is Finn Murray's third touchdown pass so far this season. I mean, we've had, we've had quarterbacks go all season Jeez. without three touchdown passes. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, he's, he's finding himself. Finn, you know, had a, had a really tough first quarter, but I think he's really beginning to find his rhythm a little bit, and I like the fact that he's setting himself, that he's not just taking off and trying to do everything on the run. Nope, he wants to throw the ball, and that's what, that's what you're looking for, right? You're going to see more than 23 throws tonight, I can guarantee. You may have 23 this first half. I love it. There's a pooch, and that falls. Let's see what happens here. Wow. Oh, that got dicey for a nice moment kick. there, that but the Rockets so recovered. The That's a real art form, that pooch kick. <laughs> okay, we expect nothing but uh, taking a knee or going up the middle here from the Reading Rockets. Yeah, it looks like they're going to take a knee. I'm going to bring it into the second half here. And that should do it. They should be able to run out the clock here. Well, Red yeah, Redding, as you can see, they, they've got a lot of weapons. They've got a lot of skill players, and and they're missing they're missing their best runner, their, their best receiver, and two of their captains. Uh, that's the, that's the end of the first half. Uh, as we say, we look for positives. We just found the positive. It's 25 to six, and uh, we'll be back with first half highlights. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, Hank, here we're going to go. Look, take a look at our first half replay highlights. First one is De Laurento to DiNapoli. I mean, there's no way you can defend that pass. It was just perfect. Uh, that was a beautiful play. Here you're going to see A.B. put a little pressure on, but just a low kick uh, by Redding. Really no success on the, not much success in special teams. All right, take a, take a look at De Laurento. He was untouched on this touchdown run. Just winding his way. Yep, you're going to see a nice kick by Connor Cates here. Fumbled by uh, number eight, Eric D'Agostino. Uh, looked like AB almost had it. Yeah, there we go. There's the Napoli once again. Look at that cutback and great speed. Picks up a nice block. And he got Coles. two good blocks on that play. Here's Finn Murray drop back. Nice job stepping up with pressure in the pocket, hitting Maddox. Nice job by Maddox. Yeah, and Maddox a makes a great target. And this one's going to Cal Sullivan. Another good target. 6-3 and 6-4. Two good targets. And here you're going to see him just flush it out to Camposano on the outside. Camposano does a nice job catching the ball and getting in for six. <laughs> I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all. 
So put us in your starting lineup for this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Okay, here are our stat man stats. Thank you, Will Henry, for keeping our stats for the first half. Um, very interesting, uh, Finn Murray was eight for 18. 18 passes in the first half uh, for 57 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. And Hank, I think he missed probably eight of his first nine passes, so he's really recovered well. I'm sure he went eight for 10 in that last half. Yeah, I think so. It looked really good. Our rushing attack is pretty much non-existent. Zach Olson, uh, three for 14. Uh, on the other side of the ledger, De Laurento uh, with eight rushes for 58 yards, and then DiNapoli, 10 rushes for 105 yards and one touchdown. De Laurento has really been absolutely almost perfect tonight. Nine of 10 passing, 62 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, and, uh, and uh, he's looked real good. But uh, I think the story here, Hank, is that Finn Murray is really, you know, feeling the ground under him now. And, and as you say, the game's slowing down a bit. And I love the fact that he's setting himself and, because he, he's, he's got a great arm. He does. He's, he's got, got a great really arm. He can arm. find his receivers. And with Cal Sullivan and Dee Dee and, uh, and Jack Maddox, uh, they, they make for good targets. Yeah, and you know, I mean, to, to kind of what we were talking about off air is, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing Murray take off and run, you know, create another aspect where Redding has to respect him in that regard. So, you know, you know, taking off for five yards on first or second down is, is, isn't the worst thing. Right, Especially absolutely. Especially when he's being flushed out of the pocket. So, but I agree with you. He looks really good. He's got a really strong arm. He's not throwing off his back, but he's stepping up. And he's making good throws. Uh, you know, Redding, and, and not to take anything away from Redding, they're doing a good job on this coverage. They're playing straight up man-to-man -man or cover two man, so they're really putting a lot of pressure on Finn to throw it exactly where he needs to. Well, hopefully he'll be, uh, he'll work eight for 10 to start the second half, and uh, uh, the Stat Man stats are brought to you by Acton Pharmacy, Shire Caton and Epstein, and the Huntington Learning Centers, and we want to thank all our sponsors for uh, uh, the pregame show and the halftime stats. And we'll be with you in just a few minutes to start the second half. And AB's going to get the ball to start. A little momentum here. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Today's game is brought to you by Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, the Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Enterprise Bank, TC Lando, Dunkin' Donuts, Carson and Stewart PC. TD Bank. All right.
right, Hank, we're getting ready for the start of the third quarter here. Reading's coming on the field, and we're going to receive. I, I uh, noticed that you renewed your acquaintances with Mrs. Marino. Yep, just catching uh, up with Mrs. Marino, with her, uh, David you Crocker, the Mr. 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 Crocker. Yeah. Mrs. Marino have any uh, insights into uh, how we handle the second half? Well, yeah, she told me that um, you know, right before AB scored a touchdown, she yelled into the mic, get a touchdown. Okay. And that's what happened. Well, that's so I asked her to it do again. it about 10 more times in the second half. All right, here's the kickoff, and it's going deep to Connor Cates. And he's going left. It's around the 20, 25, and as you say, he's very close to breaking one and good he, field position at the 30-yard line. He's been great tonight on, the, on special teams. You know, he had that one missed punt, but other than that, he's just been fantastic. Okay, let's see what halftime adjustments are being made. As Tim and I say all the time, the most important series is that first series in the third quarter, and we'll see how AB comes up. Maybe he can get some points on the board here. This is a different ball yeah, game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you got a you got a 25 to 13 game. It's a whole different ball game. Boy, they got that big guy right in the middle of that line, that nose tackle. He, he's listed in the program at 340 pounds. That might be five pounds too less. I don't know. He's <laughs> too little. Here we go. All right, under center now. A little bit different look. More traditional right up the middle. Okay. And that's a statement right there. Jack Maddox. Holding his block on that play, and that's a six yard gain. I got it! And let's see if they put uh, Finn under, under center more here in the second half. This looks like a little more traditional offense, huh? Oh, oh. Okay, let's take a look at that. It didn't look like Camposano was uh, expecting the ball. Yeah, uh, it's a tough turnover and uh, first and ten for the Rockets here as the, uh, the game has just kind of flipped on its side here. Napoli in motion, he's got it on the jet, he's going around, and look how quick that kid is. And hopefully we have a holding call here. Got two flags on the field, I think it's holding on Redding. But look how quick the Napoli is. Yeah, he's an explosive player. It looked like AB had that strung out there too, and he just cut it up. Okay, holding Redding. They're going to move him back, and it's going to be first and 20. They talk about a runner having quick feet. That's, that's the Napoli. The penalty is penalty against the Rockets, and 10 yard penalty moves the ball back to the 33. Where they first All right, let's see if we can get some pressure on the Loretto here. They're coming. Here we go. And, and a quick strike. And he is at the one yard line. And Camposano just ran him down. But look at this. This, this play. The blitz was coming. Deep slant. And the seam. And right down to the one yard line. Yeah, I'm not sure what coverage AB was in. Looked like we jumped the, slant, uh, the uh, slide route. They threw the slant in behind. Right up the middle, and he's in. He's in, and with 9.35 to go in the third quarter, Redding strikes. 
And it's 31, 31 to six with the extra point coming. Okay, you just see him just plow his way in behind his line. And it's funny, Hank, you know, whatever you, whatever you plan for at halftime, you come out, but you know, if you, if you fumble the ball, all the planning in the world doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And going for two, to Loretto. And he stopped. Okay, good pursuit on that. And that was Jack Amaral on the stop. Well, they haven't done too, too well on the extra points. They've done well on the touchdowns, though. That's five touchdowns and 31 points. I'm looking at that number 78. I, he, he's, I think he might be the biggest on the sideline, 78 on the sideline. He may be the biggest high school football player I've seen. He's definitely one of the biggest high school football players I've ever seen. By far. <laughs> all right, here we go again. It's deja vu all over again as Redding gets the kick off here with Capisano, Amaral, and Cates back deep. And it goes to Cates again. No, Cates yep. going to the right this time. Trying to find a, a seam. And good pursuit by the Rockets. All right, ball's on the 25. We start again. And Hank, I, th I think we had a good plan coming into the third quarter. A good, a good first play, a good push. And, uh, and showed a little attitude there in that first play. Yeah, just gotta get rid of some of these mistakes. You know, I know it's still early in the season, but you know, these fumbles in your own territory just can't happen. Okay, now they're trying to position everybody here. Murray under center. And there's a hand on, and he's caught right. Nothing doing, loss of two. But you do, you do have to remember, you're playing last year's Division II Eastern Mass champions. I mean, this is, this is not just any team. Uh, this Reading team played in the Super Bowl last year, and they, they were 11-1 going into that Super Bowl. Plenty of those uh, players from that team returning. Yeah, a lot of returning starters. Okay, we got D.D. wide right. Ben Murray back to pass. He sets and he throws and it's a no call. No call. That was a jump ball, just slightly overthrown. He threw, he threw that about 50 yards in the air. Yeah, and that was after a little hitch step too. I mean, he can, he can really let it fly. And now on third and long, you can, you, can, you can expect a lot of pressure coming from the Rockets here. Third and 13. No good play calls. You remember, Hank, when you were quarterback? No good play calls on third and 13. No. 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 <laughs> no. I was saying, you can't really, uh, can't really, tough to manage that, third and 13. Only so much you can go with. A screen Screens being place. one of them. Yep. Well, once again, good pursuit by the Rockets and Connor Cates getting a lot of practice tonight. Camposano on the reception. And they're back to the original line of scrimmage with Cates kicking. And D'Agostino and the Napoli around the 43 yard line to receive. Good snap. 
Here's the kick. It's a great kick and a fair catch. And that is around the 48-yard line, and that's where the Rockets will start. Well, there are a lot of good quarterbacks this year in the DCL, uh, Hank, but there's one quarterback that we won't have to face again, and that's, uh, that's Austin Burton from Newton South. Yeah. He has moved to uh, Winter Haven, Florida, uh -huh. and has committed to UCLA uh, for next year. Up the middle again, good footwork. Boy, he really finds his way through that line, doesn't he? And there's Dave Crocker right there with Walt, with his dad. Dave and I were talking at halftime, saying what we'd give to play in this offense today. Oh yeah, my goodness. All right, new runner here. Devolio for the first down. As they're moving right through the line. Never forget Dave Crocker's bootleg to put the game away against Concord Carlisle when, uh, when the team set the record for most consecutive wins. Amazing game by Dave. Oh, Hard fought incredible. game by Concord as well. That was I, won't, I actually, you know what, I won't give Concord any credit because it's Concord, but. <laughs> but Dave Crocker played a fantastic game. He that really game. did. And once again, right up the middle for about nine yards. And they're just testing the middle of the AB defense. Now that game, that game was a 12 to seven game deep in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Crocker took that ball and I think it was about a 12 yard book bootleg. Yep. Here's a replay in that last play. You'll see, see him going right up the middle. He can really, a, he stays so low to the ground. Threading offensive lines open up some big holes. And that's another first down. Yeah, it was really exciting. I remember going to that game and uh, going home and, and turning on the TV and seeing uh, AB football on ESPN. I know it was the uh, it was the, one of the games. Pretty cool. of plays of the day. Yeah, pretty and cool. That play, Dave, with Dave Crocker, pretty great. The most incredible thing is that all the parents were at somebody's house, and the minute that play was on, every single parent got texted. <laughs> it was incredible. It was an incredible moment. All right, first and 10 for the Rockets. De Loretto pitches, pitches out. And once again, good, good yardage by DiNapoli. He just seems to find, find a groove there. Yeah, the AB defensive backs doing a good job containing that though, and making them turn back inside towards, towards the pressure. Okay, no gain on the play. Camposano with a, with a nice play coming in on that. Hey, Loretto. Taking two steps back and throwing it deep, and oh, he had a guy. He he yeah. had his favorite binky there, Panacopolis, number four. Looked like a little sprint and go there. Just overthrew him. Double move. Open. You know, I'm looking at D. Loretta. He looks like a man among boys there, uh, back there. Uh, yeah, he's he's a big guy, and he's got a strong arm. Uh, that ball was just a little bit overthrown, but had a nice tight spiral on it. He is, uh, like you, a three-sport athlete. Plays basketball, baseball, and football. The old, the old tradition of three sports. All right, big third down play here. Oh, a lot of pressure. There's a screen play. And a good stop there. Stopped him short of the first down. Number 52 there. Yeah, that's Graham Tobin. Yep. Watch Tobin on this play. Tobin was just chasing him down. 
Good pursuit good by Tobin. Good job not giving up on the play, and getting through that. Take a look line. at him. Just knifing in, and it's a fourth down. Let's see if we can hold him on fourth down here. Great play by Graham Tobin. See if it's a keeper. No. And we held him. He's looking for a call. He's saying, hey, that was interference, but no call on the play. And A.B. takes over on downs. Yeah, Camposano, nice job right there on the play. Hit him just as the ball got there. Pretty good ball right there by okay, Di let's take, let's take again. a look at that. Let's take a look at that defense there. Yeah, he was right there, right on the spot. All right, we're down to 4.07 to go in the third quarter. A.B. on the move. There's been one touchdown scored in the second half by Redding. 31 to 6. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. They're really, they're really testing that line. They got some big guys in that middle of that line there. They do. <laughs> 79 and 78. We'll call them the Beef Brothers. <laughs> wow. One is 340, the other one is about 260, 270. It's about 600 and something pounds there. The smaller one would be the biggest guy on the AB then, side. Oh, the, the smallest one would be 30 pounds bigger than the biggest guy for AB. Okay, I think Mrs. Marino's calling for another touchdown here. Let's see what happens. All right, here's a pitch back to Connor Cates. Good pick up on first, nice on move. second down. Very good. Okay, take a look at Cates going down the left side. A nice little good toss out to Cates. Too. Yeah, nice little wall. Those big offensive linemen coming out front and getting up field. Got to love that. Yeah. Did a nice block by Olsen on that play. That, all right, third down. Just nothing doing at all. Yeah, Renning doing a good job stringing that out. Yeah, I, I, I think it's pretty clear that we just we can't go wide on this team. That has been an issue. That was an issue last year, uh, getting to the edge and having the team speed to do that. And Connor Cates looking to set the record for punting <laughs> in one game here. Snaps have been very good. And that's gonna go on the ground and Jack Amrall downs it right at the 42 yard line. And we go back and forth here, Redding takes over. I think Westford is the, uh, right now is probably the favorite in the DCL. They, they, just got by Drake it last week, 21 to 18. But uh, their quarterback, I think, has already committed to Holy Cross. Wow. A uh, former teammate of mine in college, uh, Jeff Melesso, is one of the defensive coaches over at Westford. You know, they're very lucky to have him. He was, a, he was a great football player, and I'm sure he's a fantastic coach. Yeah, they have a good, they have a really good coaching staff. Um, with, along uh, with uh, Bruce Gagne. Rich. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's interesting. From Chelsea to Westford. Yeah. 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 All right, good stop there, Devalio, for about three or four yards. One thing that Coach Maver said about the Chelmsford game, that re re regardless of the score, that, that he really felt that his players were really playing hard. Uh, you know, playing hard and playing mistake-free are two completely different yeah, things. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, uh, he, really, he really liked the attitude. He thought that they practiced really well this week. 
Uh, but they're, they're, they're really playing a superior team. Yeah, and you can deal with not playing mistake-free. You can't deal with not playing hard. Yeah. And there he goes. Look at that speed. And you've got that Panacopoulos, number four, holding, holding his block. Take a look at this. A great cut, tremendous speed. And look at the end of the play, number four, Panacopoulos, wide receiver, holding his block there. This kid has been doing everything for Redding. He's made about four blocks for touchdowns. That is, let's yeah. run guys for touchdowns today. Almost that you know, one they too. They should have like assists for touchdowns, like they have <laughs> in hockey, because he'd have about he's have about three assists. He'd have them all. All right, right up the middle, Devalio for about three or four yards, and a buck right up the middle. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. Yeah, that should be the last play of the third quarter. And really, you know, when you look back at the third quarter, you have that you have that fumble that led to a touchdown. And other than that, uh, it was a pretty pretty even quarter. Yeah. So we we had some good things happen. Made and, some uh, good stops. Yeah. Haven't really been able to get anything going on offense again, but. Well, as we always do, Hank, so you know the tradition here, at the end of the third quarter, we thank our sponsors. And if I could find our sponsors, I could thank them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get them. All right, I'm gonna thank Acton Pharmacy. I'm gonna thank Huntington Learning Centers. Huntington Learning Centers is a new sponsor for AV football, and we really appreciate it. Shire, Caton, and Epstein Law Firm in the Weatherby House in Acton, longtime sponsor. Gallant Insurance, that's Ray. Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation. And if you want to eat, go to Dunkin' Donuts and TC Landau's, Enterprise Bank, the law firm of Harsip and Stewart and TD Bank. We want to thank all our sponsors. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be able to do these broadcasts. Thank you. Okay, we've got a second down and eight as we start the fourth quarter. Reading deep in AB territory. And there's a run right to the Valio again, and he's really fighting for it every yard there, and that should be a first down around the 11 yard line. Look at this replay here, Hank. Look at the second effort. Lowering the shoulder, keep those legs moving. Lots of arm tackles tonight for AB. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, there is tackling technique and we're not seeing a lot of good tackling technique tonight. And it's a keeper, DiLoretto, good stop. That is good tackling technique. And they finally get him down. Okay, here you go, on the replay. Very little gain on this. Good gang tackling here. Good job by Calvin Sullivan. He has made yeah, so, God Sully's, knows how many tackles tonight Sully's coming up from a safety night. position, yeah, he's not good. hesitating. Sully is a great night tonight and really, uh, really on that uh, pass reception, really kind of stole it from the uh, defender. I like what I see. I went to West Point a lot with my scout for so I know everything that kid's coming up my own. Eluardo takes it, hand off, straight up the middle. Not enough for a first down. And they're at the four yard line with 
They can get a yeah. first down right about the one foot yard line, one foot line. This is going to be a keeper. Nope. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah. This is another fourth down stand. Last last time we were successful holding them. Let's see if we can do it again. That's the goal line stand here. Fourth and two. We're down to eight and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. I thought that De Loretto was going to call his own number on third <laughs> down. I have to believe he's going to do it here. With that big body, I wouldn't be surprised. Here he goes. And he is in. You know, I mean, you could just draw that up. No surprise at all. Okay, he can just kind of survey everything. He can pick his spot. Pick a spot exactly. Just pick his hole, and and uh, he can oversee the whole line. Their quarterback at the moment has eight rushes for 70 yards and four touchdowns. And it's blocked again. Let's run it back. Well, they they're having big trouble with their kicking game. Look at this, another block by A.B. Boy, they were in on that. that yeah. It didn't matter whether that was a low trajectory or not. They were really in on that. And uh, our quarterback, uh, Statman, Will Henry. Statman. Uh, what, uh, Eight four? carries, 70 yards, four TDs. Eight carries, 70 yards, and four touchdowns for quarterback Corey DiLoretto. They say this kid's going to West Point for after high school. Word has it that uh, DiLoretto is looking at West Point. But for baseball, though, not football. For baseball. That's what we thought. Better baseball player than a football player. I'm sure he's better in the classroom than all of, than, right. all, than football or yeah, baseball. Yeah, if he's going to West Point, he's got to be good in the classroom. All right, here we go. Camposano, Cates, Amaral back. Connor Cates gets it. Let's see if he can break one. The 20, 25. He's going, he's going. Best run of the night, and he keeps going over the 40-yard line. And it looks like we might, have a might, flag. Might tack a few more onto this one. And we might get 15 on top of that and wind up in uh, Reading territory here. Let's see. Keith carried the ball out to about the 40-yard line. We could actually use a 30-yard penalty. Run out of bounds by. That, that, yeah, that laundry's on yeah, the field. Let's There's see what the they call. The Personal foul, Reading. Let's tack it on. Best starting field position of the night. Uh, take a look at this. Take a look at the run here, Hank. Yeah, just, you know, we knew we knew Cates was gonna break one of these. Nice job of everybody up front staying on their blocks. Just letting them make something happen. A little late hit there. Okay, coming back live. Here we go, getting started on the 44 yard line. All nice right. job. Good job by Finn Murray. And you've got a big target there, number 44, Jack Maddox. That's all you have to do. Take a little, take a, take a page of the Patriots playbook here. A little quick, short passes. But once again, Murray keeping his eyes upfield, not worrying about the pressure coming in his face, making sure Maddox is turned around, ready to catch that ball before he threw it. And as you said before, a few of these incompletions were not, are not Murray's fault. 
Some yeah, of the receivers are not. Yeah, there not, was. Yeah, it was. And it was a little bit of. Uh, it seemed a little bit deeper routes. You know, we, we move the scale it back a little bit here. Let him get some momentum. You know, move the change a little bit. Oh. And I will say though, he is really tunneling tunnel vision on Maddox. You know, which yeah, is well, not a well, which Matt, I wouldn't wouldn't say is a bad thing either. He's a big receiver. Okay. You know, he's got good watch, hands. Watch Jack Moore on this. That the tight end who's playing defense there. Yeah, great position to make that interception. Play. Really nice defensive play. Third down and four down territory here. Seven minutes to go. What we haven't really seen is Murray run the ball. Coming back, going to the deep. To the deep. Oh, boy, I thought he had that one. We got to take another look at that one. I don't know. That, if that was a good adjustment by that, Didi. Yeah, a great adjustment. A wonderful. Take a look at that side adjustment where he comes in and he makes that break at the very end. I don't know if it just bounced off of his pads. I know I sound like a broken record, but once again, Finn Murray staying in the pocket, stepping up with pressure on his face, and knew he was going to take a hit, but still made a nice throw, giving his receiver a chance to go get it. The throw was right there. Yep. It was right there. No, the throw I, couldn't have been any better. It was good. It was good. It was, uh, you know, DD made a nice play trying to come back for the ball. Okay, fourth down for AB. Let's keep possession here. Ben Murray dropping back, taking a look. Looking now, starting to run. And he. Looks like he got the first down. Whoa! That's so is, that is so close. They're going to move the chains. You know what? That reminds. Take a look at this. That, re that reminded me of Jimmy Garoppolo last week. <laughs> On a third and 15. This is an impressive keeping play. Keeping the play alive with his legs. Look at that and throwing across the body. Putting it only where Maddox oh could get God. it. Oh my God, and Maddox. Makes, oh no, that, that oh was no, Connor, Connor Cates. Cates. Yeah, yeah. Great play, great job. First and 10 for AB. Nice little drive going. Then Murray back, throwing quickly. Oh, ball had a little bit too much mustard on it for Cal Sullivan. Yeah, I think it was intended for uh, Maddox on that one as well. Uh, receivers are kind of close together on those hitch routes. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about the prospect of having three years of Finn Murray at quarterback because from what I've seen so far, I mean, you know, there's a there's a learning curve here, but I'll tell you, there is a world of potential here. And not having to worry about little things like throwing off your back foot and not stepping up in the pocket. Oh, I love that! Big run right there. But those are the things you would worry about with a young quarterback. Is he is he throwing off his back foot? Does he not step up? Is he just looking at one receiver? I think we could focus on Look at Zach things Olsen like here. that. Just rumbling and the tumbling. Big guy. We've, we've had a few rumblers. Oh, nice job. Nice job, Zach Olsen. Nice job by the line, opening the holes, too. Longest run of the game for AB, 23 yards. 23 yard run. The longest of Andrew the night for Sheffy AB. Doing a nice job up there. Scott Howe. Good adjustment by Connor Cates. Oh, that was a tough five yards by Connor Cates. He could have been caught three or four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Good adjustment. Okay, look at this. Connor coming around. Looks like he may be in trouble. Then he makes that little cut. Nice job. Nice job, Connor Cates. Well, we're knocking on the door, Hank. Yep. Like to see AB put another one up here. Go get a quick stop. Oh, 
Zach Olson. Men at the line. In his tracks. They, do, they don't make it easy for you, do they? Do they? Okay. There's Finn talking to Keith Maber. As we said, Tim Bassett calling the plays from the stands, relating them to Keith. Third down, about five. And Finn coming in with the third down play here. Yeah, as a coordinator, a little bit easier to see what's going on when you're up top. Visually, just an easier play call. This is Marino. Is telling them to score a touchdown. There we go. That's it. That's it. He's in. Beautiful play call. Beautiful execution. Connor Cates taking a perfect pass from Finn Murray. That's the way they drew it up. Look at this. And you know what? Finn Murray put beautiful touch on that ball. Put it where Connor could. Uh, only Connor could get it. And uh, once again, that's his now fourth touchdowns in two games. There we go. Take another look at it. He just puts it right up there. Has tremendous poise. Easy pitch and catch. Looks good to me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call. I'm calling that good right now. Yeah, I think you still waited for the to see the ref signal, but I'll give it to you. Uh, I was very confident of that kick. All right. My question for you, uh, Hank, is: uh, Are you gonna see an onside kick? I think you might see a, another pooch kick. Um, at this point, I don't I don't know if an onside kick is really something that's necessary, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I'd like to see them do the pooch kick again. They're they're almost as uh, just as much of the ability to get a fumble on the pooch kick as you saw on that last one that yeah, we that kicked. Pooch, that that yeah. pooch kick that that uh, that lands between the second and third uh, yeah. line there. Yeah. Fantastic. It really causes a lot of confusion as to who's going to cover it. You know, even in the first kick of the game, we saw that a fair catch called, right? So. Okay, they're up. They're expecting it. Yeah, they're, they're, their deep guys are up at uh, about the 30-yard line right now. They're not expecting it to be kicked. Uh, now, they're, now they're going back a little bit. Once again, that pooch kick is there right now. You're going to see that second row. Uh, yeah, they're, now they're, they're starting to move back. back. They're moving back. They're anticipating it. And it's kicked, it's kicked long. Napoli right Oh! And that, that was D'Agostino. A great stop there by yeah, Jack, Jack Amaral. Jack Amaral's been all over the field yeah, all great night. Spe great special team. Take a look at this. All right, take a look at... Uh, Jack coming in on this. Untouched from the, from the uh, far side of your screen. He was getting Comes a up with a big there, stick. And, then, and talk about tackling technique. Mm -hmm. That was perfect tackling te technique. Okay, they're waiting for the Rockets to come out here. I don't know what the delay is. Here they come. Looks like this might be their second team, or at least their second team of specialists. Yeah, uh, yeah. you've got, uh, might be you've got the offensive uh, Panacopoulos line at quarterback, and uh, second teamers in in the backfield. Going right, straight through, and that is Vito Lorenz, number 32. You know, when your second string quarterback is one of the best players on your team. <laughs> I hope he's just yeah, handed it right, off. Yeah. He's just a sophomore. He's a little guy, five, about five, seven hundred and fifty pounds. 
Rockets go to Winchester next week, and we go to Concord. And they're just running it straight up the middle. Evan Silva, nice stop. We've got Angel Ruiz in there. We've got Nick Riley. We've got Zach Horowitz. And now with 224, they're basically just kind of running it out right now. Number one, good stop there. John DeMere is the ball carrier. Carries the ball down to the... That was Jake Durkin on the stop. The A nice ankle line. stop. It's going to be third down and about six to go for the Okay, we've got one more chance to uh, get the ball here if we can stop him on third down. Takes a snap. Oh, it stopped. There we go. No. That is recovered by Redding, but they're going to have to punt. On the exchange, there's a fumble recovered by the Rockets. Looks like AB will have a couple yeah, plays to take crack at it. AB's not calling any timeouts right now. We're down to less than a minute. And Pat Conroy in the punt. You haven't seen him very often. He's like the Maytime repairman. <laughs> very lonely guy. A high snap. Oh. And a great bounce. Oh, I thought we had something going there. That was the second high snap on a punt. Boy, he took it down at about the 32-yard line. And we got 30 seconds here. Well, it'll be first down and 10 for the action box for Columbia. And the Rockets will be home again next week. Game between the Rockets and the Winchester Spakers. Okay, we've got some second-teamers in here. Looks like we got about 15 players. I think we need to have two come off. <laughs> I still think we may have, there we go, okay, now we're good. Now we can count 11 players. I'm still not sure, now we may have 10, I'm not sure. At any rate, I think we're gonna keep the ball on the ground. Right up the middle. Tough run, tough run. Still going. That's a first down. Number 25, Pablo Berrios. Yeah, he's just a sophomore and not a big guy. Tough, five, six, tough run. Five, seven. Look at, look at Pablo on this play. He's 5'7", but he is a solid 170 pounds. Coach Maver uh, really mentioned him at our first meeting as someone to watch. Well, that's it. The score is 37 to 13. The Reading Rockets, one of the top teams in the Commonwealth, a Super Bowl team last year. Um, come into Reading, and uh, I want to tell you, I think in the second half, Hank, I, there were some, some really good positive signs. Yeah, definitely. Like we talked about earlier with uh, Finn Murray coming out, really kind of after those first 10 passes, really kind of stepping up and. 
and uh, hitting more of the players, and but also defensively getting some stops, right? Not not letting Reading come out and score 20 points this half. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so they uh, Reading scored two touchdowns in the second half. We got one. It was a competitive second half, and uh, I think at this point um, we're gonna have a few replays to take a look at. And uh, whenever the booth is ready, we'll uh, we'll go to it. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Okay, all right, we're back to take a look at some of the second no half highlights in this game, and we've got quite a few here. And the first one is a low light. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, it, this yeah. was a very nice play there. That was a beautiful, right up beautiful yeah. throw. Yeah. All right. That's how you draw it up. Okay. Once again, using that big end. body to get in that end zone. Yeah, Makes it look easy. Handing the ball to the ref. And take a look at D'Agostino. Really great run and that great block there at the end. Great runner and once again the keeper. And good pursuit by AB on that one. And there he just picks his hold. Filaretto, four touchdowns. They could not kick an extra point. And there's Finn Murray. Look at this. Look at the way he keeps the play alive. The Connor Cates keeps his his eyes upfield. And how he threw across the body on that one. There's, there's Rumblin' Jack. <laughs> what was what, that singer, Rumblin' Jack or whatever? <laughs> but uh, Olsen, looking like his brother on that play. And a nice, beautiful composure to Connor Cates for the second touchdown. And that's it. Listen, we want to thank our crew our award-winning crew now. Uh, Tim, we'll see you next week. I want to thank Statman Will Henry. Hank Morris, thank you so much for coming in tonight. Thanks I can't for having thank me. you enough. And our camera guys, Jesse Cardoza, Todd Rapasarda, Brian Cullahan, Fred Pagano, Instant Replay, Pat Snow in the booth, and Rick Degon, of course, our director and our editor. Thank you to all our staff. We're going to be in Concord next week, and hopefully we'll get an AP win. We'll see you all next Friday, guys.